I'm a Lutheran. I always have had the Lord's Prayer in our sermons, and I've noticed that the Catholic has dropped the last few lines, uh, and I'm wondering why they have done that. Yes, we didn't drop it. Uh, those were added. <laughs> And they weren't strictly added by Protestants. They So the history of it's really interesting. The original Lord's Prayer is the one that Catholics are familiar with. Um, you know, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses or some versions of debts as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That's the original end of it. You can find that in Matthew 6, 9 to 13 in Catholic versions and most modern Protestant versions as well. What makes it complicated is uh, Christians would add a little prayer at the very end of that. And this is an extremely early tradition of, of adding a little prayer at the end where they would just say, originally it was just, for yours is the power and the glory forever, or for thine is the power and glory forever. And we, we find evidence of that in the first century in a document called the Didache. In chapter eight of that, it has the first account of the Our Father outside of scripture itself. And it says, uh, pray this three times a day. And it has that, and it ends with that line, uh, for thine is the power and the glory forever. Now eventually that becomes, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Uh, and in later versions of Matthew's gospel actually included in the text. It's possible, it, it seems probable, that some later scribe uh, had the same thought you did of like, oh, someone must have forgotten these words here because that's what people always prayed. Uh, and so Catholics, to acknowledge both that the original Our Father doesn't have those words and that this is still a 2,000-year-old tradition, just doesn't date quite back to Jesus. Uh, what we do is we pray the Our Father and Mass, and then there's a, a prayer the priest says, and then we say, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever, which is just a, a modern English version of for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. So we, we do still acknowledge that prayer. We still include it. We just include it like a, a few seconds later as, as a way of showing that it's not actually part of the Lord's Prayer as given to us by Christ, but it is always associated with the Lord's Prayer from the first century onwards. <laughs> 